A word of warning for everyone out there tonight. Medical experts are raising the red flag about this heat and humidity. Yeah, we're not in any danger yet, but we are on the way. Cynthia Newsom is here with more, the top three things you need to think about so the heat doesn't hurt you. Cynthia? Yeah, tip number one, Mark, do not be deceived. You're sitting in your nice air-conditioned car or your home or your office. Well, the minute you step outside, the heat and humidity slaps you in the face. After a while, you might think your body is getting adjusted, but don't be deceived because after a while, you might spend too long out here, and that can be trouble. It might even be heat exhaustion or heat stroke. So take a look. Here is the plan that we have for you. If you are outside exercising or working, you need to drink about eight ounces of fluid every 20 minutes. And it's a good idea actually to drink some water before you go outside. And tip number two is be aware of how you're feeling. And if you feel badly, take action. First thing to do is remove yourself from the situation. So if you can get inside, I know the city sets up emergency cooling centers when a heat wave comes on, um, but you got to get out of that heat and really start to get some fluids in you and rest. So tip number three is when you are outside, be aware of the people around you. If you see someone, either out playing tennis or out here in the park. If you see someone struggling, offer them some water, maybe try to get them out of the heat, and if necessary, call 911. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.